Hi, it's Tom Tool here with Remax Mainline, coming to you with another quick video message to help you stay ahead of and informed about the local real estate market in the greater Philadelphia area. Today, September 24th, 2014, we just got the August 2014 numbers and wanted to share them with you and show you what's happened so far this year and really where the market's going heading into the fourth quarter. Let's get to it. Year to date, the number of homes that have sold have declined between 3.9 to 5.7% in Chester, Delaware, Montgomery counties, as well as Philadelphia. The average sale price, most areas we've seen an increase between 2 to 4.4%. However, inventory started to creep up. This time last year, we were at a six-month supply of homes available, meaning that if no new properties came on the market, that's how long it would take for everything to sell. Now we're at a 6.5 month supply. So you're starting to see the inventory creep up, which has created more options for buyers. And that's actually caused prices in some areas to decline approximately 1.8% from where they were last year. The median sale price, those numbers hold true. We're seeing increases of two, as high as 3.87% off last year's pace. But again, in some highly saturated areas with lots of options available for buyers, we're seeing declines as high as 5% off last year's figures. Lastly, when sellers' homes are priced correctly, they are getting between 91.02 to 95.2% of their asking price. So what does all this mean? Well, for sellers, I, I see a key number here that's probably more important than the sales or the pricing figures. And that's what percentage of your asking price that you're receiving. That tells me that buyers are still ready to pay at the asking price if your home's priced properly. And the market's extremely price sensitive right now. Just helped a client sell their home. Uh, we just closed on it this week. And we were on the market for about 30 days and we had 19 people through the property. So that, that's a really good amount of traffic, but we didn't get one offer. We opted to adjust the price to 485. Three days later, we had a full price offer closing in 60 days. You think you get the offer at 485 when you're priced at 500, but the market is so price sensitive right now that buyers are less inclined to negotiate with a seller as they are to pay full price for a home that looks like it's at a very fair, very reasonable value that shows well and is in a great location. So pricing sensitivity is higher than we've seen in the past. Buyers, what does this mean for you? Well, now that inventory is increasing a little bit, it gives you a little more time to act. The market was moving very fast last year. If you bought a home in 2013, you probably experienced going into a property the first day it was on the market, and it had two, three, four offers in already. We're still seeing multiple offers right now, but it's not as frequent as the 2013 market. And as a result, there's more options out there, and inventory's increased a little bit. The good news is that rates are still very low for buyers. A 30-year fixed mortgage is coming in at 4.125%. So that, that's, that's a historically low number. Prices are still going up. So that tells me you probably want to act sooner than later if you see something of interest because rates are going to go up at some point. And if prices continue to increase, it's going to cost you a little more down the line than it would today. Certainly, there's a lot of information here. Hopefully, these statistics... And these real market experiences can help you. But if you have questions about your home in particular, you're curious about what's happening in the market, you know anyone who's moving or anyone I can help, you know where to reach me. Contact me in my office at 610-692-6976. Check out my website, tomtool.com. And just remember, I'm here for you and ready to serve. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you soon.